Greg Stubbe. Greg, nice to have you back on. This is some scary stuff. I mean, we already knew there was about 50 undercover FBI informants and agents in the crowd at January 6th that God knows, I don't know what they did to stir people up. We know there was FBI informants pushing the Michigan guys in that attempted kidnapping plot on Governor Whitmer. Now they're going into Catholic churches and trying to nail people in church. What is going on in D.C.? Well, what's going on is the weaponization of the federal government and not just the FBI, but like you said, the IRS, the DOJ, ATF, pretty much every three letter acronym government agency that the Biden administration can use for political political objectives. And uh, as you talked about with Alvin Bragg and what he's doing, they're using states, DAs that were elected by George Soros to go after the former president and the number one contender for the Republican nominee Mm. that is currently declared and running for president of the United States in 2024. And we now know that Joe Biden himself was involved in making decisions as it relates to the Mar-a-Lago raid. More and more of this information is coming before the American people. Thanks, thank God that we have a Republican majority to be able to subpoena these individuals, mm-hmm. ask questions, bring these people before hearings, and give the American people the actual facts of what's really going on right now. And we have seen, Greg, and I'll, I'll encourage them if they're watching this program, we've seen some of the middle or lower level agents within some of these departments, like the FBI, starting to blow the whistle. And I wish we'd see more because there's supposed to be whistleblower protections out there in our federal government for them. And if they see these higher ups making these ridiculous calls, like here's one for you, I got one, uh, and they should be speaking up, but this one's insane. The FBI is now suggesting that slang words like red pilled and the word based are linked to people that are violent right-wing extremists. I've said based and red pilled. Does that mean the FBI's got a file on me? They're going to come knocking on my door because I'm an extremist now? Because I use the word based? What the hell? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're using speech and they're trying to curb that and use that as an ability to go in and go after people that don't agree with their ideology. People like me that don't believe that there's a thing that's called non-binary. Yes, they don't you. believe all the different gender, ideologue, progressive talk that the left wants to bring upon the American people, uh, if you don't agree with that, then suddenly you're going to be investigated by one of the three-letter acronym Mm. agencies of Biden's DOJ, FBI, ATF, So, Greg, what do we do? Here's the question. As Americans, I'm not going to shut up, whether that's on this program or in my personal life, and I'm going to tell my viewers, don't shut up, don't be scared of them. What can you guys do until we can take back the White House and the Senate Or do we just have to put up with this two more years and watch Americans being persecuted because of political gain? Well, thankfully, we have the House and we have the ability to control a lot of this with the appropriations process. I've called along uh, a number of our leaders to use the appropriations process. Look, we fund the FBI. We fund the DOJ. We fund the IRS. We already passed that bill to do away with the 47,000 IRS agents, but of course, the Senate's not going to go along with that. But I think we can use our power from the subpoena, the oversight, the appropriations process to make policy objectives and to gain policy objectives so the American people can see exactly how corrupt and corrupted this White House is. Congressman Greg Stubbe, I'm so glad to have you on. You were definitely a based politician who was red-pilled long ago. (laughs) <laughs> is Thanks, that the FBI? Dan, Are they, are the FBI here? Just kidding. Greg, as always, thank you, brother. Appreciate you coming on and keeping it real. Good to see <laughs> Stay you. Stay based. Talk to you soon. I'll try. <laughs> Up next, can you believe that?